So I figured I'd put together a quick tutorial on how to use Mavericks as myself and quite a few other people have been falling over how to use them. They're uh, not entirely intuitive right away. So, get started. Master arm on. In menu, stores. Up here, IRMV. That starts the cooldown for the Mavericks. You'll be familiar with that if you've flown the A10. And now we simply wait. If you see down here it says standby, it'll change to ready once it's warmed up. It'll take about three minutes. Now that you're all warmed up and ready to go, you need to find your target. So, best way I've found to do that is you select with the sensor select switch aft once, and then again to enable the TV of the DMT. Move your flight path on top of the rough area of your target. Press the TDC action or depress button, which now marks that point on the ground. Now with the TDC slew, mark yourself your target. Lined it up nicely. Now this is where people seem to fall down on themselves. You need to uncage the Maverick. So press the uncage button, it'll appear on the screen. Next, in order to control the Maverick, you need to make sure you press sensor select switch 4. And you can see it says IRMV here. And also here on the top left. Now, if you press it again, it'll go to INS. And now you can't slew the uh, Maverick or control it. Make sure when you're trying to use the Maverick that you have IRMV selected, which is done with the sensor select switch 4. Now, you can already see the Maverick is looking where the DMT was looking. If I press the OSB for the fourth to zoom in, you can see the target there. Now, it's not locked, it's only tracking the ground. So with IRMV selected, press the TDC action, which is TDC down, and it will attempt a lock. It may not lock right away, so just periodically press the button until you're in range for a proper lock. On the HUD, you can see it says 10 TGT. This is approximately 10 miles away from the target point. The Mavericks will usually acquire a lock around 7.5 miles. Alternatively, you can slew the camera around and it'll automatically attempt to lock onto whatever you happen to put the crosshair near. However, that isn't entirely reliable because if your aircraft frame is moving, the slew on the camera will move as well. So you need to make sure you're flying very stable as a small amount of drift will be transposed into the camera as well. There you go, so the lock is now acquired. And that's as simple as pressing the pickle button. Rifle. And then you realise just how light the Harrier is. They put quite a bit of kick on the uh, airframe when you're unsymmetrical, so be very careful when you're turning out afterwards. So, re-attacking. Sensor select, switch down to get the DMT, find the next target, go for this truck here, sensor select, switch up, IRMV, action button, depress on the TDC, and rifle. If you want to rifle off quickly another shot, you can literally just slew your camera to the next one, however be aware of the, the wobble induced by the airframe. Rifle. You see it goes back to the previous one, which is the DMT. And pick that one out. Rifle. You can fire the Mavericks without the DMT, if you wish, but you'll be fighting with the stabilisation, so I found this is the easiest way to pick out the target you want. Finally, if you're not familiar with Mavericks, then you need to consider what type of Maverick you're bringing with you. The AGM-65D and G models both feature IR cameras, which will make them work well at night. The AGM-65H and K have charge-coupled TV cameras and therefore not as good at night, or in fact, unusable. The other difference is the G model and the K model both feature larger warheads, they're heavier missiles. The AGM-65E is not currently in the game, but I imagine the employment will be more or less the same. However, instead of using the DMT in TV mode, you select Laser Search Track and use that to locate your target. 
but of course you will need either a buddy laser or self laser to employ that missile. Finally, don't pick the TGMs if you intend to go in combat, because they are training missiles and they will not leave your rail. And that really is all there is to it.